take our video. <laughs> you go, oh, yeah. <laughs> I never started. <laughs> God, I Hi, my we're Caroline and Ian, <laughs> and along with our Bernese mountain dog Delilah, we have given up work, we've sold our house, given away our possessions, and are now pursuing a full time van life in our 27 foot van, Frankie. So come and join us as we tour Europe and to see what it's, uh, some amazing sights as we go th with our Frankie van and through our Christian faith on a wing and a prayer. Yeah, I think I thought so. Let's go see. <laughs> <laughs> So we're sat here waiting 
for the boat ride and first of all the mister driving the boat has to wake up and then we can get in the boats and this is a network of canals and it's a 45 minute ride so we're just waiting to start Ils, sont, ils ont une belle, une belle cour, hein, un, bel, un bel espace de... Il y a un petit bel passage, nous sommes toujours en pleine ville. Les habitations de rêverie sont à peine à 100 mètres. Ah oui, ça se voit. C'est fou. Ouais, ça, c'est impressionnant. Ça, Autant de là, calme la dans la ville. Ouais, tout à fait. Donc, justement, la végétation a un ah, peu euh, son origine hein. ça explique aussi le calme des lieux oui. ouais, elle filtre les bruits comme elle est très dense très haute elle nous protège de la pollution visuelle oui. et ville. Oui. elle nous apporte un bol d'air pur alors qu'avant c'était que des légumes maintenant il y a plein d'atouts écologiques en plus. les racines des arbres c'est une bonne solution pour maintenir les îles et les berges par exemple enfin, avant il y avait 1000 maraîchers sur le que ça famille aujourd'hui il n'y avait presque aucun arbre à l'époque Heureusement, s'il y a des friches, des zones de boisement pour l'accueil de la faune, c'est contraste. So that was absolutely amazing. It's um, right in the middle of the city, and it's loads and loads of canals. There must be hundreds of canals, and between each canal is little plots of land. And just like we would um, rent an allotment, um, people can rent these spaces and it, it was really clever what they've done so some had turned them into flower gardens and um, some vegetable plots some party pads that had um bars and pizza ovens in and some were for the family where they'd even put uh, paddling pools up haven't they so uh, yeah absolutely amazing in the middle of the city it was so quiet um, and you could hear the, the uh, cathedral bells chiming that's half from the kids behind us <laughs> there was, on the next boat <laughs> there was a school party yeah. Um, but yeah really oh. really strange exciting place to go to so as anything yeah thumbs up yeah good to see in the summer because yeah. all the flowers were out at the best <laughs> This is where we stayed last night and it's just on the outskirts of um, a main city. It's um, just a public car park and it's got loads and loads of trees so it's really nice and cool which we're starting to realise that we need more than anything at the moment. We just walk across and then over to the city and it was noisy without a doubt because you've got the main road here and then you've got a massive roundabout up at the top but it's free and it's really close to the city and we felt totally safe. Okay, Delilah meets a friend. This is Boo Boo and Boo Boo's 10 years old. He's just been brought back because he did a runner. I don't think he likes Delilah. <laughs> <laughs> Delilah, it's Boo Boo. It's Boo Boo. Say hello. Good girl. <laughs> Good dog.
Biscuits. Il est gourmand. No, it's okay. Don't worry. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>Guess what we're up to? Calibrating the game. <laughs> so we're just having a picnic and it's the first one that we've had. It's lovely and bright, not too much wind. And we found this great big bare spot. So Mr. Ray is going to try and take off. So we're happy toes. So we'll see how he gets on and I'll let you know if he manages it. <laughs> Blinky neck, he's done it. Ah, he's literally got that off the ground in only half an hour and landed it. <laughs> I hope he don't get any quicker, otherwise, I'll never get any time to myself. Well done. Ian's just had the drone up for the third time and I cannot believe it, it shot over the hedges and I think it's gone into some water. So I'm just going to stay here with the dog and the bag and just hope he gets it back because he'll be gutted if it's gone in the water. Right. Such is the determination of my lovely man. He crashed his drone, one of the blades has come off and uh, we lost a little screw. So he's had us want to see the size of this car park. Circling the car park with magnets on strings until we found this and we did it! Yay.